the inspiration and definitely stepping away from in-ring action. WWE intending to run more stadium shows going forward. New Japan Pro Wrestling president addresses potential Forbidden Door follow-up event in Japan. And AEW Dynamite News. Welcome back to another episode of The Latest. I'm your host, Denise Salcedo, and we're going to go ahead and jump right into today's headlines. The first one being that the Inspiration is officially stepping away from in-ring competition. The Inspiration's Cassie Lee and Jesse McKay are stepping away from the ring. In a statement issued on Wednesday, Lee and McKay announced that they are indefinitely stepping away from in-ring action. Lee and McKay had been part of the Impact Wrestling roster since signing with the promotion last October. In their statement, and they thank Scott Moore and Impact Wrestling. We have had such an amazing experience working with the incredible Impact staff and roster. We will cherish these Impact memories forever. We are excited to start a new chapter in our lives and explore other opportunities that may come our way. President Scott Demore wished them the very best in whatever it is that they do next and said that they are wonderful to work with. The inspiration were formerly known as the Iconics in WWE using the names Peyton Royce and Billy Kay. They were released by WWE during the company's April 2021 roster cuts. The inspiration made their Impact Wrestling debut at Bound for Glory last October, in their debut match, Lee and McKay won the Knockouts Tag Team titles. They later dropped the titles to the Influence at Sacrifice this March. The Inspiration were certainly a fun duo, but I'm sure that they got other things on their bucket list that they would like to accomplish. So the best of luck to both girls. Deanna Peraza will make her AEW debut on next week's Dynamite in Baltimore. ROH Women's World Champion Peraza will face interim ROH Women's World Champion Mercedes Martinez in a title unification match on Dynamite. Martinez was crowned interim champ after Peraza was unable to defend the title at Supercard of Honor earlier this month. And... Ray Phoenix made his return to AEW on tonight's Dynamite, confronting the House of Black. Malachi Black, Brody King, and Buddy Matthews headed to the ring. This brought out Penta Cero Miedo, Pac, and Abrahantes to the stage. It was then revealed that Phoenix was the one under the cloak and attacked the trio with a shovel, then laid out Matthews. Phoenix had been out of action since the January 5th edition of Dynamite when he suffered an arm injury. CM Punk will challenge for the AEW World Championship at Double or Nothing on Sunday, May 29th in Las Vegas. CM Punk vs. Hangman Adam Page was teased in a brief face-to-face -face stare down between the two on last week's episode of Dynamite. Page has held the AEW world title since defeating Kenny Omega at full gear in November 2021. The match at Double or Nothing will be Punk's first world title belt since a July 2013 WWE World Heavyweight title match against Alberto Del Rio at a house show in Atlanta, a match that Punk won by disqualification. An increased amount of stadium shows looks to be the norm for WWE going forward. This year, WWE will set a company record with eight stadium shows. Andrew Zarian of the Mat Men podcast reports that running more stadium events is an approach that WWE plans to continue with in 2023. Zarian tweeted that this is a Nick Khan approach when it comes to premium live events. The 2022 Royal Rumble, Elimination Chamber in Saudi Arabia, and both nights of WrestleMania 38 were held in stadiums. WWE has four more stadium shows planned for the remainder of 2022. Additionally, WWE and DAZN have announced a partnership to promote the biggest women's fight in boxing history. Undisputed women's lightweight champion Katie Taylor is set to defend her titles against Amanda Serrano on April 30th from Madison Square Garden. The event will air exclusively on DAZN, the stream service announced a partnership with WWE on Wednesday that will see several superstars promote the event. And now we got some more news surrounding the Forbidden Door and what can happen afterwards. New Japan Pro Wrestling President Takami Obari has expressed interest in potentially bringing a Forbidden Door follow-up event to Japan. Speaking with Sports Illustrated, Obari stated that a show featuring AEW and New Japan wrestlers hosted in Japan could be the next step following the June 26th pay-per-view from Chicago. He said, quote, if Japanese fans are invested in this event and the demand is there, then there will absolutely be the impetus for us to take the next step of holding an event in Japan. Abari wouldn't speculate on what comes next for the relationship between his company and AEW after Forbidden Door, however. He also said New Japan and AEW will open the Forbidden Door together this June, but what lies on the other side is something we will have to wait to find out. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe to F4W online. And if you haven't already, make sure to follow me on Twitter and or on Instagram at underscore Denise Salcedo to chat some more wrestling. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone.